Yeah, it's funny because uh, you mentioned why, how social media is so important, which it is. And anybody who says otherwise is stupid. That's why you should really go to lastweekinwrestling.com. <laughs> and please subscribe to our YouTube because it, it's important, guys. It's really important. Lastweekinwrestling.com. Anyways, uh, so then we have House <laughs> of Black versus Dark Order and Fuego del Sol, which is such a weird pairing, but it was actually really fun. Um I love that they that they do the combined weight thing. Don't you think that's funny? Like that was such a McMahon thing to do in the early nineties when everyone was like two hundred and eighty pounds yeah. of muscle. And the combined weight of five hundred yeah. or you know, you had like a yeah. the natural disasters, had, like, it was like nine hundred yeah. pounds. It's like that's, that's fucking exactly. wild. It's like holy shit, these guys are nine hundred pounds. <laughs> like, They're a half ton almost. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It's fucking crazy. And it's like and then they have House of Black, and it's like combined weight of 745 pounds. And I just start laughing because yeah. I'm like, why does that matter? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, who cares how much they all weigh together? It's like such a weird game. But, dude, Stu Grace is fucking awesome. I got to put this guy over real quick. I mean, he's always been awesome. He and Uno are, like, I think really underrated. I don't think they need to be in, like, the title picture. I just think they're really great mid-card guys that can put over top guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And even beat them sometimes. But I just mean, like, I don't see them as top tag team material. But And I don't want to call them enhancement talent. I think they're more than that. It's just they're just that good middle that Which is we important. need. You and, need those yeah. guys. And um, I think, you know, Evil Uno and his whole gimmick is a little goofy and stuff. Or at least it used to be a lot goofier when he did the video game thing, a little bit more hardcore. Um, but for what he is now, I think it's they are – you know, exactly like you're saying, wonderful mid card talent that can put on a fun match, be that palate cleanser, whatever it may be. Um, be good, right? And it's fun and get hype because they're over. Um, but and I think that's right where they belong, right? I, there's nothing wrong with that. I have to admit, though, I think I've seen you a picture of this because I don't think you were watching at this time way, way early. I do kind of miss, and I got a lot of shit for this when I posted it, so I'm waiting to get more shit. You can post this as a, a social media thing. I don't give a fuck. Here's the thing. The Dark Order, when they used to come out, Evil Uno would go into the middle of the ring. Stu Grayson would call all these gimps, and all these Dark Order gimps would run in the ring, and they'd form a throne, a human throne. And Uno would sit down on it, and I thought, fuck, this is cheesy, but I love this. I mean, he is just I don't the want them to do that wrestler. anymore. Yeah, I don't want them to do that anymore. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying... I fucking missed the throne. That's all I'm saying. Because everything about them at that time was lame until the, now they're cool. Did he but, ever do the the like pause thing in AEW? Because I remember that from the indies. Like he had he used to have video game controller on his on his tights, and if somebody bumped the controller or whatever, he would it would be like he they paused the game, and he would not sell. He would not do anything until they hit the thing again. It was it was ridiculous, but it was like his gimmick. Because he's a video that's game very character. Funny. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, there's a video of it on YouTube. You should check it out if you haven't seen it. It's fucking yeah, hilarious. He he basically took over the AW Games thing, so he does all of their games content. These yeah, it just Adam debuted Cole. on Friday. Yeah. So, anyways, Stu Grayson is fucking awesome. 